Hey, what's up guys? Back with another video. Today I want to show you a really simple, but I've uh, asked a lot, how to add a Hotmail email to your iPhone so that it appears in your mail app uh, just natively. So anyways, first thing you're going to want to do is hop into your settings here. So as you can see, I'm going to enter my settings menu. You're going to want to scroll down underneath the iCloud. You're going to see mail, contacts, and calendars. Here, as you can see, I have an iCloud Gmail. Now, when you go add account, you get iCloud, you get Exchange, Gmail, Hotmail, uh, AOL, and Outlook. I, for some reason, Outlook.com doesn't really work for me when I set up my Hotmail. So, I'm going to just show you quick how I set my Hotmail up, and it works fine for me. So, I just go Other and go Add Mail Account. So, here I'm going to put in my name and my Hotmail email. And then my password. And then I can put in my description and literally I just go next it's gonna verify pull all the account information for me I can choose to shut off notes if I want and I hit save so there's one more thing you really want to do well maybe two more things here one um, go into your hotmail here and then go to accounts now you're gonna want to go extra go away and if you want your deleted mail to go into your deleted mailbox, make sure you have that set or else it'll archive this option right here when you discard messages. It's by default set to archive messages, so make sure you do that. And then if you don't want your mailbox automatically deleting your messages, make sure you remove this as well. Everything else you can leave the same. Hit done. So now your email is set up. But you need to make sure um, you're getting them and your email is being checked periodically. Uh, uh, by default, Hotmail, Gmail, AOL, anything that's basically not iCloud is going to use fetch data where um, iCloud uses a push data. So hop into this menu here. Basically push will give you um, the option where it'll come through automatically where fetch is on intervals so you can see if you scroll down here your interval time you have 30 minutes 15 minutes it's always set to manual by default so by default the only way you're going to get a new email message is if you open the app and refresh it so make sure you come in here now of course if you refresh at 15 minute intervals it's going to use more data and it's going to use more battery so if battery is your case, if you want it to last as long as possible, make sure you set it to hourly. I kind of like it in the middle at 30 minutes. That's just my personal preference with it. If, say, you don't want your Gmail at all receiving the fetch, but you still want your Hotmail or, say, any of these other ones, you can go in and manually set them just to manual. So the only way um, it's going to receive a new email, say, on my Gmail account now, would be if I actually refresh the app. And it would be the same with the Hotmail account, if that's what you choose. Maybe this is a secondary email, and you don't want to be bugged with emails about it all day. You just want to check it when you check it. But you want other email accounts to be active right away. So this is kind of, you know, the very basic setting up an e email on an iPhone. I actually get asked quite a bit, and... New users run into a lot of problems with it, so I'm kind of hoping this video will help all of you new users, especially with the iPhone 6 launching soon, and there'll be so many more moving from Android. It's not as hard as it seems, just good to have the proper information. So hopefully this video helps you out, and rate, subscribe, like the rest of my videos, it helps my channel. Thanks for watching, see you again.